Hey guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video, I will show you what routing is and what root is. I won't tell you how to root your phone because that's different for every phone. So let's start. Root, just like the root of a tree, is the basic directory of Android. Uh, it is the directory where everything else is stored. So the actual definition of root is this. This is the basic directory of Android where all the apps that have installed, all the app data is stored. So without root access, you cannot access uh, the root directory. You can only access the apps that have installed and the app data. But when you gain root access, you can allow all those apps that you have installed to make changes to the root directory. As a matter of fact, the system admin is also called root. So there's the normal user and the root user. The root user can access the root directory. So when you gain root access, you become the root user and you can allow all the apps that have installed to access the root directory. And here's the fun part, you can also make changes to it. After rooting your phone, you can install various root apps that have way more functionality than the normal apps that you use. Just for an example, I've reviewed ViperFX on my channel. It's an equalizer app that increases volume by quite a bit and you should check that out and there are a lot more apps like that. You can install Expose Framework and choose from thousands of Expose modules that change everything from the color of your LED to the system animations. You can also delete, replace, add or make changes to the system elements uh, like the system apps, like the Tyler settings app, system UI, etc. So now you know what root is, you would like to know what routing is. Routing is the process of gaining root or in simple words, it's a process of allowing you to make changes to the root directory or the basic directory of Android. It is done by a simple procedure, you just have to place some binaries under slash system slash xbin and these binaries can be placed in different ways. The most common way of placing these binaries is by flashing them through custom recovery. Root is not something magical, it's just accessing the root directory. Root is the actual directory where the Android system is installed. So now you can make changes to everything that's under the Android system. So rooting is just a gateway to all the modifications that you can do to your phone. You can install various apps that can make changes to the Android system. You can even install custom operating systems that change the whole layout of your system. No, rooting your phone is not illegal, it's totally legal to root your phone. Uh, rooting does not void warranty in itself, but in the process of rooting, you'll have to unlock your bootloader and unlocking the bootloader will void your warranty. So if in the process of rooting, you have to unlock your bootloader, then you will void your warranty. When you install a new custom ROM, the whole system partition is deleted and new system elements are added. So all the root binaries that were placed in slash system slash xbin were deleted and now you have to add them again unless your custom ROM is pre-rooted. Most of the custom ROMs are nowadays are pre-rooted and if there is no root available, all you have to do is just go to the settings and enable root. In most ROMs, it is in the developer settings. So that's it for the video guys. Let me know if you like the video by liking the video and commenting. If you have any problems, you can also comment down below and subscribe to this channel for more content like this.